Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Monday, and that means we are using Burning Abyss of Bell. But not only is it Monday, this is also Vitamin Y Forever, episode 365. Yes, it has been, well, no, technically it has been, hasn't been like a year, because, you know, I took breaks in between. You know, but still, 365 whole year of uh, Vitamin Y Forever. And to celebrate, I am doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, so I drew you Bell, Ultra Nightmare, and Regeki. All right, thank fucking you. Thank you. Swear to God. Swear to God. Sometimes I wonder about this whole thing. Like, why? Why do I constantly, constantly get cards at one? There's, like, someone, you know, no, I was about to say someone needs to get on it and fix it, but <laughs> this is DN. They're not going to fix shit. They don't fix shit. Alright, let's go ahead and get Skarm. Go ahead and overlay into a Dante. Not going to be using his effect, of course. I'm just going to rank up Magic... Rank up Magic... I mean, at least I got rank up Magic Astro Force in this opening hand, but... Seriously? Like, what is this? Like, one, one, one. Like, over freaking... Over 50% of my fucking hands are cards at one. Hello? I'll make no goddamn sense. But at least I finally got Rank of Magic Astro Force, so I guess I can't complain too much. Like I said, it's a deck without any bite, but at least Rank of Magic Astro Force gave me some bite. Like I said, think about playing some background here just because this deck needs background to fucking play, but then I'm thinking, ah, I don't want to because that would kind of contradict the whole point of, uh, um, of, uh, you know, Vitamin Y, you know, using the power of your monsters, not the power of background. If I, I, anybody can fucking one-up the shit out of someone, but, you know, it takes a special individual to be able to, uh, you know, beat someone without background. That's not true. <laughs> Depends on how aggressive your deck is and how well everybody opened. <sighs> That's fine. Three background right now. I wonder how much of that background is something to fuck me up. I mean, I should be decently okay. It's because I at least have, you know, the Skarm will go to Grave Route, so I'll get that. I have the Regeki, so I should be decently okay, but opening up with Ultimate Nightmare and Terror just sucks ass. Like, hello? Uh, I'm gonna use my effect. I'm going to detach the bounce you. I'm gonna get a scarm effect. This is during your end phase. Scarm effect. I was gonna get the tour guide anyway. You can't break through skill. Something you can't play the trap card the turn you just set. This is during your end phase. Therefore, your breakthrough skill is not ready yet. So go ahead, reset that, put that back in your hand. 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 Draw. I'm reverse. Well, I can't get you bell out of my hand right now. And that's why I was thinking about running some background shit like Phoenix Moon, Blast, Regeki, Breaks, and stuff like that because I can always discard. So, anyway, the snuggles are real, and yeah. Deep Prison? Not a lot of Deep Prison has been played lately, so. Mmm. Uh. Okay, set the limit reverse. Go ahead. Now your back row is active, so if you want to go ahead and work the skill, my pleas, during your turn, or my turn, but I didn't use this effect during my turn. It wasn't that important. I swear. Why? I don't understand why I always draw you bell. I don't... 
Well, I under I understand, but I just don't understand why, you know, no one on freaking uh, DN has been the wiser and been like, you know what, you know, maybe you maybe increasing the odds of you getting unloaded cards if the cards run at one more often. Maybe that's not a good idea, because maybe you'll see them too fucking often. But once again, this is uh, DN, and you know, once again, I really can't expect anybody on DN to be doing much of anything. Okay. Y'all didn't play it, so I can ask you the question. So you can go ahead and tell me, oh, I remember one. Like, got it. One. Go ahead and tell me. Go ahead and say it. One. I know it's one. I know you top decked into it. It's cool. I don't care. It's salty. You just like you got the break this skill to stop me. Hmm. Okay. I seriously thought you were just gonna go for C101, but I guess. That's what I would have went for. You gonna hurry up and put the freaking chaos number or whatever the fuck his face it is? Oh my god, dude, hurry up. Come on. Thank you. Like, it's not that hard. Like, hmm, what should I choose from? Nigga, it ain't that hard. That's fine. Yeah. I know how fucking seventh one works. Hmm, okay. God, you're taking forever. Who's effect? Uh, no. Your effect is only spell speed one and can not be activated oh my god during the battle phase uh-uh it doesn't say during either player's turn no your effects only spell speed one it doesn't say during either player's turn no you can play that breakthrough skill i don't give a shit about that but i gonna make you play it i'm gonna make you get give me that breakthrough skill and this is already resolved. Okay. Uh, uh, Dante, Dante effect. Oops, 2000.
do you just never put cards in the graveyard or do they just sit there forever? I mean, this is still attached to that. This is in the graveyard. This is in the graveyard. Like, do you just never put shit in the graveyard? Is that how this works? We just never, we just leave shit on the field? All cluttered up and dirty like that? Nigga, clean up your field. Clean up your field. Those, okay. Thank you. This is also gone. Oh my god, please clean up your field. Looks like shit. Put that shit in the graveyard. It's resolved. I'm sick and tired of dealing with people in DM because they're idiots. Thank you. Doesn't even matter if you don't have your other fucking equip or not. I don't give a shit. Not the chaos. Another card that I run at one. That's fine though. Ah, fuck it. I'm just gonna throw the Regeki at your ass. It doesn't matter if I drew you Bell Multiple, I'm still gonna win this shit. Mmm. The question is do I wanna do that play? I will summon you. You summon back. Yeah, I guess. In fact, you got another birthday skill. Alright, who do I want? It's a Sir Scum. Who is it? Uh, Tony Burnaby's monster in your graveyard. Yeah, I want you. Overlay, of course, into our mighty overlord Dante. Do I want Dante? Yeah, I want Dante. Get his effect. I'm gonna detach, sir. I'll go one, okay, two, okay, three. All right, so it was Phantom of Chaos, Foolish Dark Hole. Got it. One, 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 one. one. You, you, you see it? You see it? That's fine. Uh, who is it, sir? It was sir, right? Yeah. Sir effect. Go into the burning abyss. All right. Attack you for a thousand. Turn to defense. Attack you for 25. Dante is 2500. Plus 1500. Oh my god. It's effect! Alright. 1,000 more. There's 1,000 more. Oh my god. How about you read my fucking cards? You know, that's how you interact in Yu-Gi-Oh. I read your cards, you read my cards, we read cards. God. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. No, 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 ha, 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 read. Read, nigga, read. So if I get sent, I guess I'll go ahead and get Sir back. Ugh. I'm trying to multitask. I'm trying to upload... Pokemon Vega from my laptop. There we go. This guy driving me crazy, swear. Maybe I should play some back. I don't know. You guys tell me. In the comment section below, tell me. Should we just should we just go ahead and toss the back row in there or should we just keep it? Without the background, just use relying on our master effects. It's it's up to you guys. I really I don't care. Like I said this deck bounces back so well that it doesn't even matter if I dead draw the shit out of shit. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Ah. 
So let me guess, you're gonna go and summon a Galaxy Wizard, make him A, activate the Galaxy Expedition, summon from your deck, you make like your, I don't know, I don't know after that, it depends on what you want to do, but that's what I'm guessing you're gonna do. Let's see if I can read your plays like a fucking book. You are taking forever. Usually Burning Abyss, you know, their videos take a little bit longer because they really don't have any bite, but... Oh, okay, I guess I was incorrect. You're gonna summon Photon Crusher. Okay. Okay. Let me guess, you're not gonna put the XL light in the graveyard. I knew it. Hmm. Okay. 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 Still not too afraid. Still pretty chill with it right now. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> okay. So you got some beaters on the field. He can't attack. He attacks his ten defense position. Okay. So now what? <sighs> oh my god, they take forever. Now what? Hmm. Yeah, I wish I didn't have that freaking limit reverse face down, but I guess. So I can't attack at all. Oh, can't attack or activate effect. That's really anticlimactic. Huh. I still have one more tour guide left. Make his end mains. So the tick has no bite. Wish it did, but it doesn't. Play limit reverse on a tour guy, but what the fuck would that do? Especially since I can't summon anything, because then they would automatically just get killed. So what would be the point? Like I said, once again, drawing you bell fucking sucks ass. Yeah, what are you gonna do, right? I guess I just take the door slow. Dante. That's it, I can do this all day. 
I'm pretty chill with it right now. So what, you're gonna kill my Dante? Sure. Kill my Dante, and I'll get it to fact, and I'll get back my sir. I mean, it's not that hard. I'm still pretty chill with it right now. I might just play the limit reverse during the Zen phase. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, Armageddon, well, I'm glad I have you. You know, I need you to send, you know, my bells and stuff, but clearly, no. All right. Really do wish I had something to grab right now, but I don't, so I'm just going to turn you to defense. Destroyed. Of course, I don't get the effects, which is fine. All right, I'm going to... Ah. Uh. What do I want to do? I'm gonna special summon you. I'm gonna normal summon you. Overlay you two into Zen mains. Uh, Zen mains gonna crash into him. I'll take the 500. I'll detach the. Sir, no, you are not destroyed. He talks to Sir. Sir effect. Go ahead and revive my Dante. I'm still chill. And, uh, yeah, just in the end phase, I'll go ahead and pop the Call of the Hunters, which will pop the, the Neo Galaxy Eyes, which is really the only threat, big threat right now, so, yeah. So this deck has no fucking bite. End phase. Uh, is it Zem? Is it Zem names? Zem. Yeah. Go and pop that. Just like. Besides Zem names, this deck has like no bite. Go ahead. I'm like, I'm like sitting here trying to gum this guy to death. I'm like, ah, nah, nah, gnawing on him. Like I said, if I had some back row in here, I'd probably be ridiculous breaking and king to and blasting the shit out of him, but, yeah. The nope. I just love how I milled that dark hole. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What the hell is that sound? Hold on. Oh, sorry. That was... Oh, you probably didn't hear it, because it probably came up as second audio, which I'll go ahead and delete in editing, but yeah. Wait, didn't Photon Crusher attack and he never fucking turned to def... Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Yeah, that's fine. You don't even have a galaxy of Funtan Dragon in the graveyard, so I don't even know what the fuck you think you're doing. And he was supposed to be in defense, but... Yeah, so I fucked up. He fucked up too, but... Wasn't even paying attention to Photon Crusher. Would've been the same end result. I just would attack the galaxy Tachyon Dragon instead, but... Took more damage, but yeah, I probably would have went after him because I would have just summoned one of my Dantes and attacked my attack, kill it. So, a oh, good feeling. Probably gonna forget about that breakthrough skill.
So since he didn't summon the Galaxy Eyes, he's still just a 28 meter. Huh. When you do target one Galaxy Eyes in your graveyard, if possible, regardless, this card. Okay. Once again, I'll get my effect. Put you back in my hand. I will uh, take the 500. Detach unless you want to break to scale me, but uh, that's up to you. You have to you have to break to scale me at attack decoration though. Actually, I should have just left the same means that. That was my bad. Forgot about that. Forgot about that this entire fucking duel. Ah, <sighs> so I'll go ahead and grab my last tour guide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna set the limit reverse. I'm gonna end my turn. I'm gonna drop you bell. That's one way to drop you bell. That is one fucking way to drop you bell. I might have lost this duel depending on how smart my opponent is. He's trying to think. I have the scarn back. Like I said, like I said, starting off with you bell in your hand. first one. I don't care about terror. I don't care about ultimate. But starting off with you bell in your hand is literally the worst card you could draw. Unless it's super icy bell, then it's doom shaman. It has absolutely no bite. I'm sitting here trying to gum my opponent to death, and it's clearly not working. I came down for another rank up magic, so. Mm hmm. Oh, well, that's gonna be strong. Like I said, if he remembers the breakthrough skill, he has to remember the breakthrough skill to win this duel. If he doesn't and he forgets, then we're going to continue because <laughs> he needs to remember that breakthrough skill. Because I'm going to clearly, I'm going to activate Lemon vs. Black with the bell and then he'll probably be like, oh, I can't do anything. I'll just end my turn. I'm like, okay, turn to defense, summon tear, wipe your field. You know, so. I said, it all depends on. Him. It all depends on how smart he is and whether he remembers he has that breakthrough skill or not. Because if he doesn't, then I might have this duel, so. That's going to be one stronging attack, motherfucker. It includes himself, so that's eight. He is also. He's nine. He's eight. It's a lot. It's a lot. Sixteen. 16, 20, 25, 25 times to 200, 5,000 to go. He's going to shoot to 9,000 attack. Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> He's going to freaking rip my ass off and fucking plaster it to my face. God damn. This duel has been going on for a lot longer than I wanted it to. But once again, this deck has no bite. So like I said, I'm probably going to put, gonna put some uh, backer on it. Put some back row, some, some Rikeki break, some Phoenix Woman Blast, maybe some Karma Cuts. Just deck it all out and just dirtiness, because that's the way Burning Abyss is. So. Alright, go ahead and attack. I love how he keeps on using this fucking Neo Galaxy Eyes. He 
If it was changed, you can redeclare, you can activate your breakthrough skill, use it on my bell and attack me for a game. That's what you have to do. I'm not going to tell you that's what you have to do, but that's what you have to do. If not, then this duel shall continue. Like I said, it might turn into my favor. Nope, okay. Alright then. You forgot about the breakthrough skill, so. Uh, cool story, bro. Totally forgot about it. <sighs> Come on. Get them rank up magics. Can I get them rank up magics? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lots of cards in my hand. You know, you're gonna get killed by tear. Uh, if I had Diamond Dyer, I could end this door right now, but I don't. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Ah, fuck it. Here to you. One, two, three, four. Oh, near to you. There we go. And, uh, terror effect. Because you forgot about the breakthrough skill. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all your monsters on your field. All of them. Destroy them all. You totally forgot about the breakthrough skill. It's saying, right there. Just begging to be used. Like, hey, remember me? Hi. Like, nah. Nah. Go ahead and wipe all your monsters on your field. Get punished. And depending on what you do next turn, I'm just gonna go ahead and just go with summon Tour Guide, Tour Guide, summon something, Exine to Dante, Mill off, whatever, and then just go poke for game. So pretty much wipe your entire field. Taking forever. <sighs> the 3DS around me? Yes, it is. Someone play some Smash while I wait for you. I'm gonna play some Smash because you're taking forever. I'm playing as Greninja. Because Greninja is my favorite starter out of all of them, so. And I love that he's in this game, so. I gotta get good with him. Right now I'm decent. This is a bad opponent. I shouldn't have went against Zero Suit. Zero Suit's just gonna grab the fuck out of me. That's literally all she's doing. <laughs> What's to say? You still aren't done reading it, so fact. Oh my god, they actually kicked the shit out of me. Okay, whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Just fucking two standby phases from now. Okay! I don't give a shit. And you don't even have Galaxy Photon, just a no, you know. Also, you won't be getting its effect since you do not have uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon, oh my god, Photon Dragon as an Etsy's material, so. Have fun with that. Or not. Go ahead. So I don't even gotta worry about that. 
Bye, Zero Suit. You're dead. Nope. Nope. Ah, damn. She grabbed me. Zero Suit is like the queen of grabbing, so. So what are you going to do, sir? What are you going to do? You can go ahead and break through skill me now and kill my, my terror, but then I'll have someone else with Nightmare, so. This duel might be long, but I think I might have it, depending on what you do. This guy's taking forever. Fine. I don't care. Grab though. The queen of grabs. <sighs> well, thank you for making this duel a little bit more complicated and a little bit longer than I anticipated it to be because of that, but it's cool. It's cool, bro. I don't even care. Field effect. Let me go ahead and get another Dante. So get wiped again, like every single turn. Kill these two. Go ahead, you're burning the shit out of your resources. Eventually, you're gonna run out. I'm just gonna fucking just attack you. It's not gonna be that difficult. The nice little us. Uh, oh, I sent the wrong one. My bad. I fucked up. Eh, fuck it. I fucked up. I meant to send Surge. That's Graf. Oh well. I don't even care. He's not gonna call me out on it. Fuck it. I fucked up though. I would say it's a nice little Sir Dante combo. I always have something on the field. All, all monsters. All monsters. Kill that too. I don't give a shit. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I destroyed mine, but it had an effect that summoned Dante. Oh my god. Go. Even though I fucked up. You know what? I'm not even gonna argue with you. No, whatever. 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 I, no, it's not, I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. I wanna end this duel, and arguing with you is not gonna end it. Don't fucking care. I just want this duel to be over. Holy fuck and a fuck basket. Don't care. I'm in this door right now. I'm in some effect. I'm in this door right now. I better have a burning abyss in there. I do. I do. Yes, I do. You. Really, you two. Just go ahead and go for downtime. Here's the fact. Detach. Mill. I only need two. Actually, I don't even need mill at all, but I only need two. So, shitty ass mills. Uh, start effect. Some Dante. Attack for 2000 in game. Please. 40, 40 fucking minutes. 40 fucking minutes. Putting some background in this deck. I'm putting some fucking background in this deck. Isn't this fucking ridiculous? We'd be in time. We'd be going into fucking time if this was a tournament. There would be no round two sighting. This would be one round. Going into time is fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. It's 2000. There. 
40 fucking minutes. 40. 40. Put into background. You guys will see it in So, holy shit, a fucking 40 minute long episode. There you go, there's your celebration for fucking 365. Just, oh my god. Some background needs to be in this deck. Either, either I run some background in this deck, and it'd be a deck with back row on Vime and Y, which I'm not a big fan of, or I take it off, slap it on Daily Duels, and we put something else running Vime and Y, but I don't know where, where I would slap it onto on, uh, on, uh, Daily Duels at the time. Oh, it's already getting replaced. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I can't find a place at the time, so I guess we're just gonna run some back row with it, so. Yay, back row. At that point, it would be just boring abyss at that point. Oh, well. What are we gonna do, right? Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Lemon Y. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. See you guys tomorrow using Playlist's Bell. Thanks for watching.